You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this, Cassandra? Mm. Don't call me that. Then uh, do your fucking intro. My intro? This is your fucking channel, bub boy. And do the intro. Okay. Uh, fuck you guys. We're gonna go in this ancient ruin. It's a pretty shitty intro. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> That's why you don't ask me to do intros. Alright. Question mark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what's going on there. <laughs> don't know what this is. Uh, ain't that a bad a bitch. Uh, <laughs> what even is that? <laughs> Don't I don't know. Click the ancient ruin one, Gabe. Come on, click the ancient ruin. That is one. really click, funny though. Click the ancient ruin one. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, glitches. All right, check out the door. I guess. Door. It's hard to make out from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks like that's the door to the ruin. So, what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Um, before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off some of the dust on the door and cleaning off some of these root things off the door. I said door twice. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try to do what she says. Or you could just not play the pronoun game and tell us. Mm, but aren't. You're right. Pop off. Just as Chiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. How does she know without doing it herself? And then? What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs to an ancient ruin. What's going on? It's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. And what is the symbol on the door? Japanese? Yep. Mm, it looks like it's Japanese. Oh. Too bad we don't speak that language. You're totally right. Oh. I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai or Future. And not of that, it says Diary. Also known as Nikki. Future. Who cares? Hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? More importantly, how do we open it? What's inside? Hey. It looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Hey. That's right. That must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type the password. Yes, yes. Acting all high and mighty. So what's next? It's obviously impossible to put the, in the password without any hints. Uh, are you saying a normal person can't open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. I'd say the biggest difference between these two people, Fuyuhiko and Hyoko, is that Fuyuhiko is responsive to other people and gets overly defensive and can lash out. Hyoko literally attacks people who weren't talking to her. That's part of the reason why I get so frustrated with her. I mean, she insults people, he just tells you to shut the fuck up and stop talking to him. Yeah. It's almost like he doesn't want a relationship because that would weaken him. Shut up, if we were just typing whatever, we might get it right. Hold it. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Huh? Well, what do you mean, dangerous? <laughs> the gun. The fucking gun? Because that thing next to the panel, doesn't it look like a gun? Eh, it doesn't matter. Just have Nagito go and press the button for us. Yeah. Uh. In fact, that's totally a gun. Gun. Oh, that's a gun. Okay. So, yeah. If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? So... What we need is the extendo finger. 
Press the button. Or to just know away. the password. Damn it! It can't be helped. Looks like it's better we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> he totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! You do it then! But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like it's from a sci fi film? It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? Um. Um. Silence, huh? You're both quiet. I'll pick you up! You guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. I'm sorry. No, I have no, uh, I have no idea at all. I don't know either. Um, for now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. I won't be fooled. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Just show up and tell us some. Don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. You guys are probably the ones who cover that door with dust, right? Uh, just as I. I thought you guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey! Hey, don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch! That right there. Oh, I'm sorry. You nasty pig bar. Say you're sorry, bitch! Oh, I just said it! I just said I'm sorry! Is it possible that there's a connection between this door and the reason this island is uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter and there might be some natives inside. Hey. Is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. Yeah, I mean, a bunch of teenagers came from Japan. They're probably bringing some kind of cataclysm with them, like Godzilla, or hey, like hey, 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 hmm? hey, hey, hey. Sonya's from Nova Selic. So it's like 15 kids from Japan, one kid from Nova Selic. Okay, well, yeah, but you also have to remember that she was in Japan. So, it doesn't matter where you're originally was she? from. Yeah, she got to Japan to do the classes and everything, and then was sent out to an island for some reason. You're getting all riled up! forgot about the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's been forever. And several possibilities crossed my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not in a material sense. More essential than that. What are you saying? Hey, For um... instance, even though Monami and I come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Oh, uh... uh, you can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and- Hey, keep your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> My body can't handle a supersonic meteor rush like that. There. Now that I've shut my sister with a fantastic Pegasus meteor fist, this is the mystery of Jabberwock Island, a mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. Yeah. That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day, you'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> yeah, that seems easy enough. All we gotta do is remember the black and white Tanuki said before. Hey, why are there 16 of you? I told 15 students from Mosby Academy arranged to come to this island. I got it! That's right, there must be a traitor. I didn't even know about hanging out amongst you. Just kidding. I know! There's a traitor among us? That's what that ugly Tanuki said before. Now they're all calling him Tanuki? Fine, fine. <laughs> calling me ugly and a Tanuki? Those kind of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. Hello! He's totally depressed. If there's a traitor, they'll probably know how to open the door, right? And there's probably folks who are a way to contact the outside world beyond that door. Uh, or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monami is hiding there. But... But... Do you really think that there's a traitor among us? No shit. Of course there is. Who the hell is it? I haven't confess. Yeah, that'll work, buddy. There isn't! There's no traitor anywhere! Hey, bastard! Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> you and what's so funny? Hey, hey. Oh, just, have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender? 
I'm the one asking the question, don't just change the subject. I understand why you'd want to ignore it. We're all under such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students know. Wait, elementary school students would come up with it? But that name is unavoidable because the organization actually exists. So, what is this organization? It's literally what it says. Those guys ended the world. Ended the world? Hey, it's not an overstatement or metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? Basically. You mean they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Hmm, terrorists, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. <laughs> In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. So what? Don't say things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Enders, are you saying that you and Mo and me are also members of that organization? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is, the organization the traitors working for are the ones who brought you to this island. What? World Enders beyond behind it all. Are you kidding me? Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. It's just another made-up story to trick us. Like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Stay back. Monokuma. Monok Monokuma. I shall listen to you you spout your nonsense all you want. I shall... yeah. While I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. My, my, I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. You're calling me a liar? What the heck? If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Uh, stay away from my various body parts. Silence! Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding amongst you. And that's why you gotta find the traitor and kill them dead. Hey! Hey, you better stop! Shut up, Monami! Big Brother defying traps like you needs to be punished! No! Don't pull my ears! They're gonna come... come off! Monokuma and Monami departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who understand what he was talking about? Um... not a clue. Hey, hey! For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. I've seen you fully naked, buddy. Yep. After exploring the new island, all we've uncovered in more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. And now Nagito just starts knocking at our door every night to see if we want to go hang out and kill someone. Ugh. I'm dead tired of walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world tender. I have no idea what's going on anymore, but I don't e and I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. You know, I would kill for Gary's Mod TTT maps based on these islands. I think there might be some. We should definitely Dynamo check that out. Like maps. Um, I of course wouldn't be able to play those until we're done with this game, just in case spoilers. Yeah, but, like, but we can find like Danganronpa One ones. Yeah, because that would be dope as hell. I guess I should head to sleep for now. That way, my exhausted body under the bed and close my eyes. I don't like this. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like red foods at all. 
Frank's foods are red because they have crab inside them. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I'll never ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Please look forward to the next Monokuma Theater! And make sure you guys be careful too. Ding dong, bing, bong. Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Morning already, huh? Feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. <laughs> Skip! That explains why I feel so tired, but I'm hungry, so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. Okay. Um, that might be today, it might be tomorrow. I don't know, but just find my hero and talk to her first. So I thought different things were gonna happen, but they didn't, so. Watch them slowly seep into reality. I can never not talk into to Buki. Okay, apparently that's the skip button. Whoops. I actually hit the bumper. Good morning! Do you know how many O's I used? Whoa there, your cool demeanor gives me the shivers. But you should talk about it more, you know. Shoot me with your word arrows. Think about Biakia made me re feel really sad, so I'm trying super hard to stay upbeat. About Biakia? I see. That's I right, see. he may have had piggy fingers, but he was really totally awesome. It sounds really easy to keep a promise till the very end, but I think it's actually really, really hard. You're right, especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that. Aww. If only he didn't have piggy fingers. Darn, so disappointing. <laughs> now then, I'm off to the restaurant. Adieu. She didn't have to say that last bit. Poor Biakia. Why did he gain so much weight, though? Who knows? You're not going to the restaurant, my hero? My hero? Uh, sorry, I was just thinking about Teru Teru. What's going on? I know Monokuma said Teru Teru's motive was boring. That's impossible! But that wasn't boring at all! I mean, it's your mom! She's like your most important family member, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I fuck agree. Fuck my god. Of course, that doesn't mean I can accept what Teru Teru did either. But... But still, if my family... I'm sorry, it's nothing. Also, I noticed something. Uh, when I was editing the first trial stuff for the first game, because I'm working on editing through that entire game right now, the motive of the first trial of both games are the same. It's the loss of family. That's crazy. Um, yeah. So we'll be seeing if the second trials are related at all with those motives, but like the first trial was the exact same. Um, I you mentioned before that it goes more into an extended war for the ones that we don't know, but I don't know whether that was like the book or uh, anime or what. Wait, what? You said before that it mentioned somewhere the other people's uh, things, other people's motives that they never said what was on the videos. Was that like the book or was that like anime or... Oh, I don't know. I don't even remember saying that. Gonna be real, Chief. Okay, never mind then. Even though I think what Terra Terra did was stupid, it'd be bad if I allowed Monokuma to influence me too. 
Obviously. That's right. I'm never gonna follow Monokuma's orders. Okay. Hi, Chiaki. Hey. Ah, good morning. You're playing video games again this morning? Hmm. It's like whenever you find the time, you always come here, don't you, Chiaki? You think so? Hey. I know you like video games, but if you don't get into the sun more, you'll get sick. Come on! And you know it's important to get to know the others better, too. So let's play games outside. I'm sure they have stuff like jump rope and bamboo copter at the supermarket. Huh? Jump rope? Bamboo copter? Hmm. Are those games too? I don't get it. Come on! Then you can play with us after breakfast. Good deeds should be done quickly, as they say. Dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Are you saying I have to join you too? <laughs> What's with that tone? If you don't want to come, you don't have to. Seriously, she's so bossy towards guys. Hmm. Jump rope? Bamboo copter? The world is still overflowing with strange things. Huh. I was actually expecting that to be with the scene thing. Okay, so we had a minor interruption where we had to stop the previous thing, but we're continuing on the episode. You guys saw nothing. And also, we have every single present now. Oh, right, yeah. I'm out of coins. <laughs> we have every single present we can get from the Mono Mono machine and from the uh, vending machine. The vending machine ones just came from the Mono Mono machine. Yeah, I know. I was more so saying it for the audience. So, uh -huh. as we give out gifts and things, I can just check out the description and just be like, aha, this is interesting. But just know this is all the cool stuff I got. Neither. Cool. Most of it seems useless. <laughs> All right, yes. we were done talking to these people, I think. So let's head upstairs. Yes. Did we need to talk to her? Ow! Right? No, I don't think so. Not today. Hmm. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do you think about what? <laughs> yeah, isn't it obvious that stuff he said about traitor and world ender? I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I'd suddenly find out anything. What's going on? Well, that's obvious. The same goes for me, too. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. Beep beep. But, but I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No! No need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. <laughs> However, if by chance a worst case scenario Impossible! Even in a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. <laughs> what do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Behold! Of course. In fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all. That's where Nagito was. Huh? It cannot be tied up, you say. Um, could you be referring to Nagito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagito's the traitor. What about the other part where you said he was tied up and can't move? <laughs> Kazuichi, what should we do? Hey. Dumbass, don't warn me into this. They'll find out we work together to... The oh, crap. <laughs> you guys are both idiots. A true statement for once. You. Hey, what does this mean? I mean... Well, you know. There's no way we can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? <gasps> Teru Teru committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? So that makes him a killer, too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way! Not even that! Nagito said he was gonna commit murder. That's not really tempting somebody. That's being like, hey, I'm gonna commit murder. So, mm -hmm. don't try to stop me. Mm -hmm. So, that's why you left him tied up. However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. How 
should I put this? He he's a little creepy. Uh, not that I want to badmouth him. Emergency! He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high he could sell tickets to see it. <laughs> no, truly, that's truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. What they like and what they hate, what makes them happy, what makes them angry. It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experiences so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards don't work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents of all. Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. Unless we're some kind of main character or something. Stare. Well, a main character that hung out with Nagito the only opportunity you had in the beginning of the game. Yeah. So otherwise you wouldn't be able to. You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge yourself. And? Anyway, where did you two tie up Nagito? Uh, the dining hall in the old hotel building. That's where Byakio got killed. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. <laughs> So what you're saying is it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy? <laughs> you killed him? That is not at all what she what he was saying. He's not dead. And he's definitely not an ally. He made it quite clear that if anyone wants to kill him, he'll work together with them to make it more difficult for everyone else. <sighs> he's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. Then... Then... What shall we do with Nakito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Hmm. It's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> He's also the most likely person to be the traitor. <laughs> so isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. If so, it would be better to watch for him for a while. To watch him for a while. Fuck. It'd be bad if we don't want him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh, I know that already. Aww. Jeez, I didn't expect you two would do something like that. <laughs> I wish you'd treat me more like an achievement. <laughs> and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. And who are you calling tiny boy? What? You're here? Jeez. The figures, you guys are messed up. I get it. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner them? Tch, looks like you. Look, look at you, sheep acting all righteous. Huh? What did you say? I don't know if you have room to talk, Fihiko. <laughs> we didn't do anything wrong. Oh, did the shitty sheep all bleed at me? What did you say? Looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Bastard! Try to feed damn bastard! Shut up! Shut up! You can threaten me, but I'm not scared! You're just a pipsqueak without the Kazurio clan ba backing you up! What did you say? Just stop. Ooh. Enough. Knock it off, you two. That's the problem with setting a precedence of tying people up who you think's a threat to you. Because, um, you don't like someone, you can just do that. The only issue is that Nagito is legitimately a threat. <laughs> I mean, agreed. He planned to commit murder agreed. only to get somebody else to do it. But to be fair, you can get other people killed if you start tying them up. And Nagito, yeah, who cares? But, like, fucking most to of the other fair, people To be fair, Fuyuhiko also deadass said that he could kill any of us and he wouldn't care. So I feel like maybe he's also a person that needs to be tied up in this situation. I, yeah, but if this were to last two months, you can't just keep everyone tied up. You're yeah, just gonna want to kill or go around killing everyone. Huh? What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. I just realized I never read that line. <clears throat> you bastards! I'll make sure you regret that later. Um, Kazuichi, it let us just stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting! I can't tell if it's not. I but la da da. I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. I can read. <laughs> the future, huh? I 
wonder if we even have a future. Hey! Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. Literally all she does is mumble, bruh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Mumble and cry. Well, on top of the silence mysteries, now there's also Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Jeez, it's just one thing after another. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and then left our respective cottages. Left four our respective cottages, whatever. So what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Alright! Time for the fun! So, um... Did we want to finish off Mikan? Did we yes. finish her? No, we did not. Okay. Shit. I don't know why I assumed she was here. I really should check that. Probably. She's probably not here. Yeah. Oh, no, he does in there, right. <laughs> Pretty sure that was the pharmacy. Yeah, that's the pharmacy. No, She's I'm... probably here. I think normally normally in this one, they hang out in the location they like on the newest island. Like, the first time. And then the second time, they'll be on this, the first island. Okay. Well, hey, Mikan. Before we do that, though... How many do we have with her? Just that's as a thing for doing. me. Yeah. We're missing two. So we're at four. Okay. Yeah. So, once we do this, then we'll decide who we want to hang out with. Okay. Drugstores are amazing. Just looking around gets me excited. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> what should I do? Should I invite Mikan to go hang out? Yeah, absolutely. Perhaps you want me to give you a shot? Is that it? That's it, right? I'll give you a shot of my man milk. Stop. I spent time today running no. away from Mikan while she chased me with the medical syringe. It looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. She stabbed me multiple times. Yeah, let's give her a present. Um, do we have... Yes. Number 16? Oh wait, no. I lied. Not number 16. Number 37. That should buy jewelry? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Give her that one. A pendant designed with a coconut tree motif. There's a custom on um, Jabberwock Island in which parents give this to their children so they can one day pass it down to their own kids. So this is the one? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have three of them. Is it really okay for me to receive such a wonderful item? Other than dying, I can pretty much do anything. Please order me around whenever you want. <laughs> uh, um, are you gonna talk to me again today? Yes. Mikan must be slowly opening up to me if she's actually asking me that. Regardless, I still feel nervous trying to think of something to talk to her about. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I lost control of myself and said whatever I wanted. No, it's fine. Asking someone if they want to talk is totally normal. But you were making a face like there's nothing to, to talk to her about. She's pretty perceptive. Changing the subject probably won't work on her. Just as I thought I'm a nuisance. No, it's true. I was worrying about what to talk to you about, but I wasn't bothered by that or anything. Besides, if I thought you were a nuisance, I never would have had to talk to you from the start. Well, uh, um, no one has ever said that to me before. Um, thank you very much. I'm glad. Looks like she finally understands what I was trying to say. <laughs> C can I ask you about something? Hmm? I don't mind. Hajime, um, did you like school? You mean before I entered Hope Speak Academy? 
Let's see, I didn't really like it or hate it. Well, actually, I don't think I liked it all that much. Hmm. I feel the same way. <laughs> this is my first time feeling things like fun. I felt that for the first time after I met you all. Well, right now, we're not really at school. Even so... We're all working together and focusing on the same goal? For the first time, I learned that that is very fun. <laughs> Hajime, I'm, I'm glad I came to this island. Because we're in this situation, everyone is finally acknowledging me. And I finally feel useful. Thanks to this irrational, hopeless, dangerous situation, I never thought I'd meet someone who's actually thought about her situation like that. Um, hey, Hajime. Do you know where you should target someone if you want to effectively torture them? Their armpits with a feather. What the f- It looks like I really have to answer this. So what do you um, think the answer stomach. is? Stomach. No. I don't know? Yeah. Okay. There's no way I'd know that. It's simple. You can target anywhere, really. As long as you avoid fatal areas like the head and the stomach. There are areas that aren't fatal but still very painful, such as the shoulders and back. You can punch and kick those areas, or even put a cigarette out on them. I'm hoping she isn't saying that this has happened to her. Repeatedly. Over and over. But right now, at this very moment, nobody's trying to do that to me. Ow. Because of that, this place is like heaven to me. Mikon. Oh, what you made? This is the first time I've ever talked about my feelings like this with someone, so. <laughs> Please don't hate me! I won't. There's no way I'll hate you. Thank you very much. Thank you! It's not your fault. It's not Mikon's fault. That's definitely for certain. No matter what anyone says, there's no denying it. As I watched Mikon smile, I kept telling myself that over and over in my mind. Obtained. I parted ways with Mikon and returned to my room by myself. Why do you That's think she fun. wears so many bandages, Gabe? I mean, yeah, I was just hoping. I was just hoping she was practicing surgical te techniques on herself or something. I don't know. Anything that isn't that. It's still bright out. It's not like I feel like staying here and doing nothing. Maybe I should try going out somewhere, or just, you know, stay here and do nothing. <laughs> Time to go to bed. <laughs> Alright, Mekon, where are you? Also, Let's I think you're gonna like the trophy, or the achievement you get for maxing out her, her card. Okay. Well, Mekon, we need to hang out so I never have to hang out with you. Wait. <laughs> maybe we should hang out. Oh, uh, maybe she's still on the third island. No? Second island, maybe? Third island. She's in the library. Third. Library! Why would you go there? Oh, so you can run there? Right, sorry. I mean, I can't fast travel to the building. Yeah, you could. I thought. I tried. It wouldn't want oh. me. It looked like you could. Never mind. Uh, uh, oh, man. That's a dumb one. Do we need any despair on this one? No. It's zero to nine, so it doesn't matter. Okay. If you do get it, it doesn't matter. It's the same for the next two. Glad to hear that. Hey, Mikan. What's going to happen to us now? The only thing that's what funny is 
in the island mode for this game because they obviously didn't program like different responses to you in situations. They still talk about having to kill each other sometimes. It's funny. They actually did that in school mode as well. It actually warns you at the beginning of it, telling you that, yeah, hey, they may one. mention things about murder and stuff. Well, just know that, you know, ignore it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's not right. Mm -hmm. um, let's invite her to hang out. <laughs> I never thought it'd be so calming to have someone next to me. I spent time today relaxing at the park for Mekon. It looks like Mika and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Mika a present? Definitely. What would you like to give her? 109. Unfortunately, the guide that I used for the first game had like all the items listed with everybody that liked them and who loved them. Is but that in the game the Yes. There's no guide like that for this game, so I have to specifically look up a separate guide for gifts and then look up in the list of items which number it is. Because the list um, doesn't say. That's lame. Yeah. A cloth bandage wrap used to treat wounds. In some cases, you can use this to demonstrate your morbidity or cruelty. Alright. <laughs> I'm pretty surprised that you have something like this. <laughs> but for some reason, I feel a little closer to you. Her silence seems different than usual. She seems like she's staring into space. Hey, Mikan, is something wrong? Ah, uh, Hajime! When did you... I've been talking to you for a while now. Oh, really? I'm sorry for saying something so rude. You're mad, right? You'd normally get mad right now, right? No, there's no way I'd get mad about something like this. Is that... Normal? Why? Why isn't anyone pouring water on me or throwing mud at me? <laughs> Does everyone hate me or something? Is that why everyone isn't doing anything to me? You're still talking like that. It's not like that. Everyone isn't doing anything to you because they don't hate you. But doesn't that mean that they actually don't care whether I exist or not? <laughs> Nobody cares about me. Maybe what scares Mikon the most isn't violence or being hated. Maybe it's when no one's interested in her at all. I see, so that's why Mikon has been trying to avoid that, no matter what. I can't believe I finally realized that... What's wrong with me? Hey Mikon, of course everyone cares about you. Because you're uniquely you. Stop looking at people's faces all the time and start looking at yourself more. Take a step back and pay attention to your surroundings, to yourself. Because you're just like everyone else. You're our friend. Friend? Me? And everyone else? Is that even possible? That's what I believe. You don't believe me? I do. Thank you very much. I want to believe in you. Because you are the person who has forgiven me. I know it's difficult to change all at once, but I really want her to change little by little. That's what I felt when looking at Mikon's smile. I can feel a strong bond between Mikon and myself. If possible, I want to watch over her just a little longer, even after we leave this island. Because it's not Mikon's fault at all. Mikon's report card has been updated. Hello, nurse! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't see it in video, but that was the achievement that popped. You just unlock the skill of silent massage. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. Mikon's what? panties! <laughs> Woo! <sighs> I told you, Gabe, you'd get everyone's panties just by completing their hope fragment thing in this I one. I forgot about that. Woo! After an enjoyable conversation with Nikon, I went back to my room. Is that enjoyable? I mean, I got yeah. her panties. Pretty, I think. Ding dong, bing, bong. Just a second. 
Mm. Mikan's favorite panties. She often gets the wrong size, so these are a little small. Oh. Hot. Woo-hoo! That ass too fat. I mean, you saw it in that first CG in the beginning when they all went swimming. She got cake for days. <laughs> Fair enough. Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Emergency! Emergency! What? Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! I wasn't expecting Come this. On, hurry up! I know you weren't. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night! And now no one wants to get there first. Come on! Hurry the F up! Oh. Curry rice, huh? Feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know. What's he planning this time around? But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? So we got the all the Monokumas, right? The one in the, near the beach house in the pharmacy in the library, right? Yeah, we got all okay. three that we could get now. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mekon. I'm sorry, I'm such a slowpoke. I'll head over to the park right away. But I'm not being slow on purpose. I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. I tripped again. I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. People are probably thinking, if you have time for that, then hurry up! That girl, she tripped again. She's seriously so pitiful. Not a kind way to put it. So who do we want to hang out with next? Just I'm as a thing. figuring it out. Damn it! I wouldn't have to listen to that announcement. If I didn't listen to it, then I wouldn't have to respond to the annoying summons. That's impossible. Those speakers are set up throughout the island, you know? Not only that, an excuse like I wasn't paying attention won't work on Monokuma. Hey, why are you scaring me? Damn it, I don't want it, I don't want to go. Since he wanted someone to back him up so he could step forward, I sort of understand how he feels. So he wanted. Um, next. Report card. Oh, it turned yellow, or gold rather. Yep. That's cute. So, she likes bathroom smells and alcohol. She dislikes oversized things. That would explain her underwear. She acts nervous. She'll think she's always wrong. She'll have to... Yeah. I'll just let these scroll on the screen and read these in my head. Okay, so Silent Massage. The focus gauge recovers at a faster rate. Effective during the non-stop debate, the hangman's gambit, and the panic talk action. Nice. Very helpful, actually. Um, well, obviously we can't hang out with Teru Teru or Piakia. I mean, we could just seance them from the dead. But, alright, yeah, I get it. Fair enough. We could do that. Um. Alright, so... People I'm a huge fan of. Um, there's, of course, Ibuki. I do like my hero. Fuhiko. Chiaki. <laughs> it's nerdy as hell and super, like, chuny, but Gundam is fun. Um, I won't say I like him, but I would, like, maybe if just in the post thing, I will hang out with Nagito, but, like, I don't think I can actually, like, stomach doing that during the playthrough. I may just record the hangouts in island mode or whatever. I guess we'll hang out with Shaki first. Just because I said in the past that I figured that she may either end up as a corpse or he may end up as a corpse because of her. That's what I said last episode. Yeah. We'll hang out with Chiaki now, and then we'll hang out with Ibuki afterwards. Okay. Right. So we'll just go down the waifu route. Hell yeah.
What? I got an achievement. I got nice calves. I'm stimming for walking a certain amount of steps. Just a second. I guess. Can't see it in recording. Breakthrough break through 10,000 total number of steps. Okay. Interesting. Yep, I've walked 10,000 steps now. Nice. Alright. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rumpa 2. Goodbye Despair. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> We're going to be heading the Jabberwock Park and... Oh, right. I forgot I could just fast travel like that. Oops. <laughs> um, I don't know what I was about to say. Monokuma summed us, so let's see what he needs. Alright guys, see you next time. Bye.